Okay, this is a walkthrough video of 5909 Richard Place. Uh, we're located just uh, north of Stickney Point Road, very close to the intersection of Stickney Point and 41. It is an easy bike ride to Stickney Point. Richard Place loops around. There's a couple streets in here, smaller lots, smaller homes, but uh, it's bordered by a recent DR Horton development. This is, a, this is a block construction house, um, and this was a garage that's been stuccoed over. So they re-stuccoed when they enclosed the garage to, to, to make more space. And oh, it just locked on me. There we go. They actually did a nice job in remodeling. I have to say, I, I do like the, um, this is a porcelain or ceramic tile, wood grain tile um small this thing is pretty small i think it's um it the rooms are small they redid and did quartz in the kitchen they did white cabinets and they have um mismatched stainless appliances but that's okay kind of like the backsplash kind of funky it's kind of nice this furniture is way too big in here i mean this sofa is ridiculous that it's it, i don't know where that came from or why it's there they almost should just get it out of here um bedroom number one this is uh these are you know aluminum windows are okay like i said this is block construction i have to say this this neighborhood is not worthy of um i don't know why they changed the direction of the tile there that was a bad move but um this neighborhood is not worthy of putting a second story on this house there's no question this this neighborhood's a little a little lower end i have to say we do a little shed out back there, a little backyard. Um, met the neighbor, and uh, he was kind enough to give me a beer, which is nice. Shower's been redone with tile going all the way to the ceiling. Um, little glass detail. I mean, they, they did make an effort here. And, um, you know, I always notice when the toilet is too close to the wall, it's very uncomfortable, I have to say. I didn't, didn't even use it, but I can tell you that's the case. Um, so this is where they got rid of the garage. Okay. So this would have been the garage and they converted it to a master bedroom. That is a king size bed. It is pushed all the way up. You know, all this furniture in here is just way too big for the space. I mean, it's kind of funky. I mean, I, I get it, but I'm, I don't get it. So, um, there's the access to the attic only available to skinny people. And you got this kind of funny little area here. I don't know. We're stepping back down into whatever this room is. It's kind of, kind of choppy and mismatched. And they did throw a bathroom back here. So we do have a full bathroom. Okay. Another vanity that doesn't match the rest. Some tile. You know what? I give them an admirable job for... We're doing as, as good as it's going to be this slider is not new um a little patio out there it's you know the panels right here panel looks okay plenty of room in there 150 amp panel um kooky layout but it's not bad i mean but not for three hundred and sixty thousand dollars in this neighborhood um this is just not going to fly i hate to say it um it's just too wrong. The neighborhood's not right. And I'm, I'm going to give it a D minus. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-735-4974. And as always, thanks for watching.